Hey, what is going on guys? So I have a Samsung Galaxy S10 here and if you guys are having an issue with the auto rotate not working, like for instance, every time you have a app open or your email or even like a browser, every time you turn it sideways, it should automatically rotate. Now, if it's not automatically rotating, I'm going to give you guys seven solutions right now to get it up and running, okay? So first thing is this, okay? What I want you to do is slide down your notifications, just slide down like that, and then you see where the horizontal um, line is right there? Slide that down again, okay? And then right here it says auto rotate, okay? Let me go ahead and turn it off. If you turn it off, it's just on portrait, okay? So if I have it on portrait, and I open up an app here, I mean, it's not gonna um, auto rotate because I have it on portrait mode, okay? So swipe down, swipe down again, and make sure you tap portrait mode to where it turns blue and it says, auto rotate okay so now every time you turn your phone it should auto rotate okay even if i go back to the browser here same thing now if it's still not working we're going to go to solution number two very very simple power down the s10 hold down the power button wait for that to pop up go ahead and click power off power off wait till it turns off completely then what we want to do is power it back up And once it's back up, go ahead and log in to your phone and bring up an app and see if it auto rotates. Hopefully that fixed your issue. If not, we're gonna to go to solution number three. So for solution number three, we're gonna do what is called a force restart. We're gonna force the S10 to restart. And how you do that is very, very simple. It's a two key combination that we need to press and hold at the same time and do not let go until we see the Samsung logo appear, okay? So follow along. Volume down, power button. Press and hold both these buttons at the same time and do not let go until we see the Samsung logo appear, okay? So follow along, ready? One, two, three. Press and hold, volume down, home button. I'm still holding on both buttons. I don't care what's going on in my screen. I just took a screenshot, I do not care. I'm still holding on to both buttons. I'm not gonna let go. It's getting ready to restart here. Gonna wait till I see that Samsung logo appear, then I'm gonna let go of both the buttons. Still holding. Oh, there we go. Just felt the vibrate, Samsung logo. Let go, now wait for the phone to boot back up and then go ahead and see, uh, bring up an application and hopefully your auto rotate is finally working. If it's not, we're gonna to go to solution number four. All right, so for solution number four, what we're gonna do is something very simple. We're gonna wipe the cache partition. That basically only deletes temporary files that you don't need anyways. A lot of times that clutters up everything. You can even like make your phone like laggy and have other uh, errors and issues and whatnot. So how to wipe your cache partition is very, very simple. First thing to do is go ahead and power down your S10. Wait till it is completely off. Okay, so when it's completely off, now what we gotta do is, you're supposed to press and hold three buttons simultaneously, okay? So it's gonna be the volume up button, the big speed button, and the power button, okay? You have to do it at the same time. However, an easier way to do it, because sometimes you don't do it exactly the same time, what I want you to do right now is press the volume up button, big speed button, press and hold, and now the power button. Press and hold the power button. So all three buttons are being held down right now. I'm not gonna let go until I see the Android recovery menu pop up here. So I'm still holding on to all three buttons here. I'm not gonna let go, okay? Now you can go ahead and let go, okay? And now from here, if you look on here, if we use the volume down rocker, we, what we wanna do is we wanna go down to where it says wipe cache partition. Okay, so volume down, volume down, volume down, volume down, volume down, wipe cache partition. To select it, simply press on the power button, like that. Are you sure you want to go ahead and do this? It cannot be undone. Go ahead and go to yes, and then press on the power button right here to proceed. So power button right now, and oops. Okay, there we go, and there we go. So it just wiped the cache partition. You can see it um, down here, wipe cache partition complete. And now it goes back to the default up here which says reboot system now. So that first one there is fine. Go ahead and press the power button to reboot the phone now. Press the power button. Let's wait for this to boot back up. Once it's booted back up, hopefully your auto rotation is working. If not, we're gonna go to the next solution. 
All right, so solution number five is basically basically going into safe mode. Now it's possible that an app that you downloaded is interfering with your auto rotation. How do you get into safe mode? Very, very simple. Press and hold the power button. Now let go. Now where it says power off here, what I want you to do is press and hold. Now it says safe mode here. Go ahead and tap on that. And we're gonna wait for the boot in the safe mode. Safe mode basically just loads all the, um, it, it doesn't load third party applications, okay? So, because it doesn't load any third party applications, if your auto rotate is working while you're in safe mode, then that basically means it's a good chance the culprit is one of the apps that you downloaded. And then from there, you have to figure out which app it is that you downloaded. So start from the latest uh, app that you downloaded when you started realizing that your auto screen rotation wasn't working, go ahead and uninstall that. And then uh, go ahead and try uh, try the um, see if the auto rotation works without that app if it does then obviously that was the issue and then what you can do is reinstall that app again and hopefully it doesn't interfere with your auto rotation okay anyways right now we are in safe mode and you can see safe mode down here on the bottom uh, left hand corner it says safe mode right there so again just go ahead and log into your phone you're still in safe mode here and then go ahead and bring up an app or whatnot and see if the auto rotation works. If it does, again, it's probably one of your apps that you're gonna to have to download, or it's probably one of your apps that you're gonna to have to uninstall. Okay, you have to troubleshoot, you have to figure out which app is causing the issue. Anyways, to go ahead and get out of safe mode here is you just wanna press and hold the power button, and then you can just simply just uh, reboot or restart right here, and then once it, um, it's up and running again, we should be out of safe mode. And my phone just booted up and you can see I am no longer in safe mode. Anyways, if this safe mode didn't work for you, then we're gonna go ahead and move to solution number six. All right, so solution number six is basically resetting all your settings. What you simply wanna do is just go into your settings here and then from settings, you wanna go down to general. Oh, sorry, actually you wanna go all the way down to about phone. Tap on about phone and then scroll down and then down here says reset, tap on reset. And then we wanna go right here where it says reset all settings, okay? Now, and it reset all settings to the defaults. Now, let me go ahead and read this to you, okay? So basically, it's not gonna delete any apps or any of your documents or your photos or your videos. However, it says your phone will be reset to its default settings except the security language and account settings. Any customizations you've made to your phone such as ringtone and do not disturb settings will be discarded. Your personal data and the settings of downloaded apps won't be affected, okay? So basically from here, you just go ahead and tap on uh, reset settings. And then once you do that, it's gonna reboot. Once your f f uh, phone is back up and running, see if the auto rotate works. Now, if it still doesn't, then your pretty much your last solution, number seven, would be to do a factory reset, okay? Now, what a factory reset does is basically it's gonna blow out everything on your phone as if you bought a brand new and took it out of the box. But if you have important data on here, you first need to make some kind of backup. Anyways, I have another video on how to factory reset, several ways to do a factory reset on the uh, S10. I'll put a link below in the description. And hopefully one of these solutions worked for you. Guys, let me know which one of these worked for you. And I'm going to guess that there should be at least 85% thumbs up. Okay, the other 15% is probably because you guys didn't follow something, uh, one of the solutions correctly. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you on the next one.